now. Hello. I should. People should get themselves that sweet ass. By the way, Sneezy, I want to ask you something. Last time you mentioned in the Discord that maybe you are Fabio. Is that the case? Because if you donated or subscribed, there's no way it's you. It's not possible because he never donated. It was a joke. I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. I got over 600k points and didn't get as much attention. Well, that's what, what was, I was wondering, like, yeah, like if it was him or not. Because he said it. But it's not him. So that's good. But yeah, people that are watching, if you're from Russia or Canada or the US, you can apply even if it's only three months. Here's the link. If you got rejected or applied and came over and got kicked or left or whatever, you can reapply, man. Seriously, guys, I'm repeating myself every day. Do it before it's too late. You know, you're worried about coronavirus. Nah, I'm not. I'm not worried. No. Yeah. My brother's friend got Corona. It's getting close. Did he? Can have a good idea for a modern troll, perhaps even controversy. You start streaming with a mustache and wig, just like Dr. Disrespect. Just let him in that it's for charity and you guys have some phony feud like wrestling. Nah, man. What is better, right? For controversy is to make an ad with a very serious voice saying like, coronavirus has 130,000 cases. 3,500 people died. There is no way to protect yourself except to stay home, play Clash of Streamers. That would be best. 
fight Corona, clash of streamers. Might be too far. Man, it would be good. And then you see people in the hospital. It has to really be over the top. Over the top. Beat Corona. Clash of streamers. You love it, right? Then maybe you have a grandma in the hospital that is, you know, having it or whatever. So in like her last moments and she says, please. Don't make the mistake I made. Play Clash of Streamers. Man, that would be the best. Everybody would talk about it. Yeah, but we can do a combo with the, the grandma dying. We can do a combo. She's dying from, from Corona. You know? And the last thing she says is, Remember me. Clash of Streamers. Sounds good, but have to release it before it's not relevant anymore. Yeah, that's actually, that's true. That's true. Yeah, get yourself sweet purpose. I agree. There's the link. Actually, how is that actually going? You know that, that purpose mode, that app stopped working, but I figured an, a way to fix it on my phone. Found a way to fix it. But yeah, people are still buying huh? quite a lot, actually. Not too shabby. Yeah, TwitchCon canceled. So yeah, we are still launching before TwitchCon. The next one. What happened with Trello? Yeah, it was a mistake. Honestly, it was, it was quite... Uh, I had to breathe in and breathe out, honestly, to not be too, too pissed. Because like, how can this happen? But I didn't channel it wrongly. But having no backup is insane. We had backups. You know what's funny? It was Fabio that made the backups. Couldn't find it. Don't you find that crazy? I know we made a backup, couldn't find it. Feel so bad, man. That's why I wanted to ask Sneezy, if you're Fabio, where is the backup? <laughs> I wanted to ask him where the backup was. Because it must be on his machine or something, or maybe on his Google Drive or something. I don't fucking know, because I know he made one. Yeah, we, we, we know how to fix it. Yeah. It got accidentally deleted, man, our Trello. And it really says no way of recovery. No way. It's like, what the fuck is that, man? Whatever. Irreversible. Irreversible. How can you do that? Irreversible. What the fuck? Irreversible. Oh, man, I don't even want to think about it. Fucking depressing. Are you going to pay bigger streamers of you or YouTubers to promote the game? Nah, man, that's not going to work. Who deleted it? It was... Let me tell you, I already said it. Basically... After Fabio left, right, I asked to make daily backups. You hear me? I wanted daily backups for Google and for Trello every day. So we, like, we decided to automate it. So someone here was working on a script to automate it. But what he forgot to do was rather than run the script on the test account, he ran it on the real account. And I don't know how that happened, but hey. And what the script does is it cleans everything and then it starts making everything up. And that's, you know, a way to like, it was some way for him to test the script over and over again. So he always started over again and then boom, everything gone, just everything gone. Uh... 
But then I was like, maybe there is a cash. Riz also sent a, a mail to support and contact them privately on the, on Twitter and stuff. But yeah, then we're like, uh, and and it's it's on the phones still cached. If you don't connect with the internet, the moment you connect with the internet, it gets deleted on your phone. So uh, yeah, what happens is uh, everybody put their phones offline, and uh, we are downloading the metadata and we are writing a script to put to make it back into cards. And that way we are actually recovering almost everything. But man, oh man, what a fucking clusterfuck. What a clusterfuck. I'm glad we managed to fix it though. But we still lost quite some of the checklists, but that's not so bad. We can fix that. So like, let's say in a few days, we're back fully on track, but people still, as long as the coders, which is the bottleneck of the game have work, I don't care. Do the beta players get any benefit when the game is fully released? Yeah, they, they'll probably get a, a beta loot card. I'm not sure, we will see. Can't guarantee anything. A team, what game genre do you feel is the most profitable for an indie? No, nah, that's the wrong way of looking at it. The genre of applying, I agree with that. Uh, it's the wrong way of looking at it. It's not the genre that defines what is most profitable or not. It's the way you monetize your app and the way you market your app and the way you uh, come up with something that is really, really, you know, smart in terms of like spread or whatever. If you limit yourself to a genre, you're already going the wrong alley. You got to think the other way around. You got to think, okay, if what is important is, you know, is, uh, is that people play it, then it has to market itself. And then you got to already start thinking in that regards. How do you make a game that markets itself? It's it's not uh, not an easy problem. Raid Shadow Legends just pushes, I think, hundred millions of dollars into ads, man. Yeah, you know, TwitchCon. What, 233 deaths? Uh, 233 cases in the US and 14 deaths? That's fucking a huge, that's like five, that's more than 5%. What the fuck? Man, USA, they're gonna get fucked by this. 6%, man. Anyway, I'm going to be calling it a day, guys, but you guys apply. Yeah. If you do eat meat, check out Dominion, apply. Anyone can come over, even if you're from the US or whatever, or Canada, I don't care, or Africa or whatever. You can come over for three months. And if you applied or you can reapply, even if you got rejected, if you left or whatever, for whatever reason, just reapply, man. Do it. Would you let Corona infected come over? But the government wouldn't allow that. You'd have to be in quarantine until it's over. And then you come over. Traveling when you have Corona is very irresponsible, man. Either way, 
you can apply here you can try out the game here and get yourself that sweet purpose before it's too late before the economy crashes too come on get it get some before it's too late keep it up peace out see you guys tomorrow